Hey, this is Nick with Fami, and this is a quick unboxing and review for the highly anticipated Motorola Atrix 4G from AT&T. This phone has won multiple awards, including CNET's Best of Show, SS 2011. This smartphone may look similar to other Android devices, but when it is docked into a laptop shell, it transforms into a webtop interface, enabling Firefox in a desktop atmosphere. The laptop shell is very thin and light, with a full keyboard and trackpad, in addition to an 11-inch display. The Atrix can also charge when hooked up to the laptop dock, which has its own battery supply for up to 8 hours of continuous use before charging again. The webtop app, which is Unix-based, multitasks just like any normal computer, and constantly runs in the background on the Atrix 4G. So when you plug the phone into the dock, the interface pops up quickly. A quick overview of the device, it uses a detailed motor blur interface and has a QHD screen, which looks amazing when you see it in person because of how bright and sharp it is. Being the world's first QHD screen basically means it's a quarter of full HD at 960 by 540 resolution instead of the full 1980 by 1080 resolution. It also has a fingerprint scanner that doubles as an on-off button as well. And here is the box that contains the Motorola Atrix. Here is a quick start guide. Let's go ahead and remove this. And to take apart the battery cover, you just hold the sides here and flip out the top. Here we have the SIMS card and the micro SD slot. Here is the 5 megapixel camera um, and the battery slot. Let's go ahead and put the battery in. Here is the wall adapter. Here's the USB cord, micro USB. And the micro HDMI cord. Along with the battery. And some basic guides. And this also comes with free codes to download Tetris, eBay, and Pac-Man, along with some other apps. All you have to do is just scan the code and it will automatically download from the Android market. Let's go ahead and install the battery. Here is the fingerprint scanner, which also doubles as the on-off button. You can click it. Here's the headphone jack, volume controls, message indicator light, front-facing camera, and here we have the menu, home, back, and search buttons. And on the bottom we have the microphone. On the side, we have the micro HDMI and USB slot. The phone isn't as large as the Evo, but it feels solid. The outside is made of a plastic type material, which makes it feel lighter. It's also equipped with a 1930mAh battery, much more than your average smartphone. But since it does have a 1GHz NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor, it probably uses more power as well. 1930 mAh roughly translates to 9 hours of talk time and 10 days of standby time. Supposedly, Android 2.2, which the Atrix comes with, may not be 100% optimized for using the dual cores. So we'll have to wait until 2.3 comes out to get the full picture of this phone's capabilities. It has 16GB of internal memory, but you can add up to 32GB of additional memory with this micro SD slot. Pricing from AT&T's website shows the Motorola Atrix for $199 with a 2-year contract, laptop dock running at $299 after $100 mail-in rebate, 
and the HD multimedia dock for $129. You should also note that $299 is the price for a laptop shell when purchasing with the phone as a bundle. And if you were to purchase each of them separately, you would have to fork out $500 for the laptop dock alone. I'm not sure how great that sounds, since you're pretty much paying an extra $200 if you don't get the bundle early on, in addition to the extra $20 for the required data plan and tethering. Overall, the Motorola Atrix is an amazing phone, currently one of the most powerful on the market today. It has a solid array of specs across the board, and with software updates, things could get better. The only problem with this phone are the accessories, which can make the package kind of expensive for the average consumer. But considering how the Atrix can act as both a smartphone and a laptop at the same time, it might be worth it depending on what kind of user you are. My next review will cover the interface of the Atrix with the laptop dock. And because of the shortage of accessories available for Motorola at the moment, we will have to wait until those start arriving. And that was a quick unboxing and review for the Motorola Atrix. Be sure to visit Fallmail.com for the latest accessories for your device.